Everyone I know is complaining about the way smartphones seem to be growing out of people's hands these days, a permanent appendage. Drive past a bus stop and everyone's on their phone. Walk down the high street and you'll be lucky not to collide with someone busy with something on their screen. We can't make smartphones go away. They're far too useful. So we probably should try to find ways to use them for good. I've had a grandchild recently and I've discovered the mood lifting effect of photo scrolling. My current mood lifting file has photos of my granddaughter, of course. But there's another file with favourite travel photos and even one with older pictures of my own children. It's worth creating a special file of favourite photos to go to in those moments when it all gets too much. All that reminds me of an app that you may not have heard of called Virtual Hope Box. It's a free app that was developed by the US Department of Veterans Affairs to help military vets with PTSD, but it's potentially useful for everyone. Virtual Hope Box has a section of distraction activities that includes something called Photo Puzzle. The app allows you to choose photos from the collection on your phone and insert them. It breaks the photos up into a puzzle and then you can use it to distract yourself by solving the puzzle. The extra added bonus is at the end of the distraction activity, which takes a couple of minutes at the most, you have in your hand one of your favourite photos. I know I'm encouraging people to use their phones rather than put them away, but we've got to be realistic about this. Smartphones are here to stay. If we can encourage people to use them to help them feel better, maybe they will eventually put their phones down and engage with life a little bit more. Call me Pollyanna if you like, but I really think we need to give using our smartphones to promote well-being a try.